My name is Sadam Ishikawa, MD, FCCP. Yeah, I'm a specialist of the pulmonary disease and the internal medicine. This is my life story. Yeah, I was actually called lefty when I went to the first day of the school, Gicho. But Japan is a right-handed society, so they, you know, they called me Gicho. In 5,000 years of recorded history, only a handful of days are marked by climactic events. August 6, 1945, the day a new era dawned at Hiroshima. Dr. Ishikawa was just six years old when World War II broke out. He hadn't turned 12 when they dropped the bomb. I said, if I become ship's doctor, you know, I could come to the United States. Are you allergic to anything? Uh, ship's doctors, for example? Excuse me, Doc, could you come urgent? He doesn't look too good. And he happened to get tummy ache. Shiko Munakata. I met him in the, in the ship. This is the merchant marine who carried several passengers. And he was one of them. He became my patient. We were talking quite a bit, and I, he let me see how he works. Yeah, and then uh, he gave me a few woodcuts. Yeah. Shiko Munakata and Dr. Ishikawa stayed in touch for years after their chance encounter. Shiko would continue to send Ishi letters and original pieces of his artwork until his time of passing in 1975. Munakata was celebrated as one of Japan's greatest artists and respected all over the world. At the opera, oh my God. Yes, he always carried a court. I didn't know what that mean. But, uh, you know, when opera starts, you get under the coat and then bring down my zipper and pull out my... One day, it was Nabucco. I think the opera, Nabucco, it was not a very popular opera. So the front row was completely empty. You see, actually put it into her own vagina. So nobody has a fucking in the opera house. Ishikawa continued to date many women for the next few years. Because his work required he improve his language, he only slept with women who taught him English. His opera date, being one of his main girlfriends, a tall Swedish blonde who he would soon leave for Yoshi. You promised to take care of me? Yes. Yeah, this is my wife Yoshi. Yeah, we are married 48 years and she was my true love of life. Ishii first met Yoshi through a friend of Charlie Chaplin, Nakamura. Chaplin is considered one of the most important figures in the history of film. Nakamura, she was a New York Opera Consultant. And then she invited the both of us together. Yeah, I fell in love, you know, almost immediately. Yeah, we are married in one week. We had no wedding. Yeah. We went to City Hall and paid six dollars, and that kimonos we rented. 
your jobs won't be easy. At enormous expense, we have assembled the greatest collection of crackpots ever seen. The crackpots number among them 12 Nobel Prize winners. Men like Fermi, Lawrence, a melting pot of genius, a think factory. Yeah, crackpot, of course, that's uh, Max Verifindland called me. Yeah, he found that he had never seen anybody like me. Yeah, and I was a real crackpot. Maxwell Finland was a great philosopher and scientist, considered a giant in the medical world, who pioneered work in many fields and defined the discipline of infectious disease as we know it today. He was also a big fan of Dr. Ishikawa. At MIT, quite a few crackpots around. So I took a course of uh, electronics and the computer. So that's why I was able to make my own instruments. Yeah, so I was a president of the International Lung Sound Association for 10 years, last 10 years. There's a mass in the right lung. We need the pulmonary function test. Lung volume down, send it in now. September 11th. 2001, the longest and most tragic day in New York's history. It's that particular day, we had a meeting, I have to give a lecture in uh, Berlin. The train came out from Logan, and the, so the next train was, was actually, you know, real guys. In it. The morning of 9-11, Ishii flew out of the very same airport the terrorists departed from, right before their flight. So that's why these terrorists, they must be around in the, you know, Logan Airport. I must have, I must have seen them, you know. Oh, my wife died. I like to myself a Japanese samurai. Yeah, but I, you know, I'm coward to do the harakiri. She enjoyed the life enough, okay, and a Japanese woman. And she was still healthy, very healthy, but she made the arrangement. Somehow that particular day, she didn't tell me anything and then pushed the door. So that door hit her head. It's a massive hemorrhage of the brain. You know, she designed, committed suicide. I just heard the best news. You're being honored by the Emperor of Japan. Medal of Honor? Yes at the Imperial Palace. You're a beautiful guy, now the world knows it. They recognized my scientific achievement. Honored by the Emperor of Japan, Dr. Samadu Ishikawa has a most intriguing life story, tied to many historical events and personally connected to some of the most significant icons of the last century. A brilliant doctor who invented his own equipment and became president of the ILSA. From wild dating to love at first sight and finding true happiness, Ishii's story is like the Japanese Forrest Gump. His sense of optimism and ambition traversed extraordinary circumstances that led to a life of highs and lows. From an outcasted lefty to receiving a medal from the emperor. An immigrant story of struggle, heartbreak, and success, with the centerpiece being the love of his life, Yoshi. Yeah, I know that my life is very unique. I, I like that way, because I decided to do it. You know, lefties are usually very unique. Fortunately, I never failed. Crack for Yeah, I don't think anybody wear frogs like that.
the IC patient, uh, you know, the, with my rings on. I think I'm frog. My nickname was frog. <laughs>